Hey y'all, Joseph Lipper here, and I had a video before about how to make an intake work, but recently there's been an even better way to make it work. Let me show you how it works. Now I wanna share with you a few tips that I didn't get to in my last video that will make your intake work even better. Now the idea behind the intake is still the same. You have a floating intake roller right here to make sure that the ring will always stay touching the roller as it goes up into the conveyor. And you also have a polycarbonate piece down there to back the ring and put it up onto the conveyor as well from the back. But as you can see, these polycarbonate pieces are not just a flat piece like I had in my last video. These pieces actually work even better because they take the ring from a flat orientation and slowly guide it up into a angled orientation up onto to that conveyor. But the reason that this is better is because you're slowly changing the angle of the ring, it'll have an easier time going up than if you just suddenly had an angled piece and tried to push it up like that. And that'll make your intake roller work even better because it has less work at once to do. It'll slowly push it up into that conveyor and it'll work even better. If you're looking at this and you're thinking, hey, this is something that I might want to build, go ahead and click that link in the description below. I'll send you some pictures and all the details on how I made my ramps and how I got them to work and some things that might help you get yours to work better too. Now to make sure you get the right shape, I was just getting a little bit of clearance under this piece between the piece and the floor. Keep in mind if you're on a hard floor that your robot will sink into the tiles a little bit, so you gotta keep that in mind too. But just keep this a little bit above the floor, that way the ring can just slide up it just like that, and you don't have any danger of this hitting the floor as you drive around. Now two more things. I would suggest making this front roller here out of a high strength shaft. And the reason is when you're crashing into other robots and other goals and you know the, the field elements and stuff, it'll keep this shaft from bending because this shaft is gonna get a lot of force on it. And if it's a high strength shaft, it's not gonna bend. Now the second thing is you're gonna wanna make sure that, especially on this bottom stage here, you double chain your intake. And the reason is in case of one of the chains you know breaks during the match, you still have another chain to make your intake spin and you don't have to worry about it you know, your intake not working in the middle of the match or something like that. And this is really helpful, especially on the bottom stage where your chain is more exposed. So that way you can always rely on your intake to work even if one of the chains breaks. So those are some tips to make your intake work even better and pick up the rings even faster. Don't forget to click that link in the description below for all the details. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.